Welcome back to Superior Sunrise. Now with me is Trey Patterson from Beef Quality Assurance. Trey, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got started in the livestock and agriculture industries. You bet. Glad to be here with you today. Um, my name is Trey Patterson with Padlock Ranch. I'm the CEO of that company. We ranch in northern Wyoming and southern Montana. Uh, former uh, National BQA award winners. Uh, I've been in uh, the industry about 20 years. Uh, started with Extension actually in South Dakota and I've been with the Padlock Ranch about 10 years now. I have my cheat sheet because I don't want to get anything wrong. So for all of those folks who do not know anything about BQA, the importance of it, can you give us a brief description on what it is and how important it is to producers? Well, I think BQA is, the, is, is really the art of doing things right at the management level. Uh, the BQA program is an educational program to teach those principles. So in our operation, it's, a, it's about looking at the little things like uh, how we keep records, our, our veterinary client-patient relationship, uh, proper use and administration of drugs and vaccines, animal handling. It's, all, it's putting all those things in order, which, you know what's interesting, benefits the animals, uh, but it also benefits our marketing. It's good for the industry. Uh, people like the communication, the transparency, and it's just about doing things right. How can a producer benefit from being involved in BQA or using its, its information? Well, I think uh, the largest benefit is just having the materials uh, available to learn and understand uh, what issues might be in the industry, what are consumers concerned about. And it's interesting that uh, those are the same things that uh, go along with good cattle management. So, for instance, when we sell cattle, when we sell cattle on Superior, and somebody calls and says, hey, uh, what are you doing? We've got the documentation because we're in the BQA program. We can not only uh, just tell them, we can show and prove to them uh, what our programs are because we've, we've just followed the protocols set forth, really, that was uh, we learned through BQA. How can people get involved locally, statewide? How can they really dive in and be a part of BQA? Well, I think the, the first thing is to get certified. Uh, each state has uh, programs, for certification programs. So what happens next month, uh, I think, or next week, excuse me, starting about the 15th of September uh, on BQA.org, um, uh, you can get certification for free. Uh, so it's not expensive. It's, it, it just takes some time. Um, uh, so get involved and then find your state coordinator. That's also on BQA.org. Find out where the programs are and how you can uh, help and assist with promoting uh, and getting involved with BQA. I think the big thing is, is doing things like this, just talking about it, telling you how it's going to help you, how it has helped you, uh, and getting the word out. I know there's a lot of people involved in who make it possible. You have an advisory board. Who are those people, and what are their day-to-day -day duties as far as you know implementing things? Well, the BQA advisory board is a really diverse group. It's made up of uh, veterinarians, uh, producers uh, like myself, uh, meat scientists, nutritionists, industry professionals. And, and what this board does is they advise really an oversight of the BQA program. We look at industry issues, uh, try to preempt industry issues. When I, when I say those are the things that may be uh, uh, concerns of the consumers, things that can uh, potentially affect the quality and safety of beef. Uh, we oversee the uh, curriculum that's, uh, uh, you know, like I said, BQA is an education program, so we oversee the curriculum that's being used at the state level for education. Um, lots of different roles. We just meet and discuss and try to be preemptive on our educational efforts. Well, I know, like you said, if anybody has any questions, they can visit bqa.org. Is that correct? I want to thank you for coming on the show with me this morning. And if you guys have any information, please visit their website or contact them. When we return, another special guest. Don't go anywhere.